Hey rock stars and welcome to everything about my no buy year. So what is this all about? Why do I want to do this? What am I doing? Where do I plan on going? What do I see happening? What do I have? Um, all of that will be answered in this video. Well, most of it. I filmed already going through my makeup and my skincare and I think it's going to be too long so I may break it up into two videos. If you hear me say, now let's get into my skincare after my makeup, that'll be another video. It turned out to be quite long. I was surprised as to how much skincare I actually had. So my no buy year, I want to be the change that I want to see in this next chapter of my life. I have a big birthday coming up. I've, I mentioned that in my first video and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do in the next chapter of my life and I figured it out. I'm going to be the change that I want to see. And what change do I want to see? I want to see that plastic floating island in the middle of the ocean changed. I want to see it reduced um, in my lifetime. And how can I do that? Well, I could change my life plan and become someone that goes out there and cleans it up myself. That's probably not going to happen with my current life plan. So what else could I do? Well, I could do things to change my impact on uh, consumer demand for goods that add plastic to that floating island. And that's what I'm going to do. So why did I decide to start a no-buy year? I'm going to start a no-buy so that I don't add to the consumer demand for products that are not sustainable and that aren't good for the planet. I am going to put my green, my money in green. We have the ability to change what businesses do. We have that ability by our dollars. Our dollars fund their business plans and they build their business plans around what we spend our dollars on. If we spend our dollars on things that promote environmentalism, conservationism, and sustainability, they will invest in that. I was part of a startup for a while that uh, taught me, the, ca the venture capitalists taught me that uh, their business plan, they don't, they don't see green and green, not in the United States. Um, so I want to change that and I'm going to put my green where the green is. So for my no buy, what am I not buying? There are six categories of things that I am not buying for the next year and it actually started March 1st. I'm not buying clothing, skincare, hair care, makeup, cleaning supplies. Was that six? Clothing, hair care, skincare, makeup, cleaning supplies, and housewares. Those are my six. I have enough. I have plenty in every of these categories. If I, I am allowed to replace something. So if I run out of something, I'm allowed to replace it. And I, my first option is to find it secondhand. So if I like the product, um, but I don't like the packaging, I'm going to look for someone who has the product and is wanting to unload it. Just because I'm buying it secondhand doesn't mean I'm buying it used. Um, I'm looking for new products and then if I can't find it second hand, I will look for individual sellers. I want to look for individual sellers who are running boutiques, um, but I also want to make sure that they aren't creating a demand for the products by buying things wholesale and that kind of thing. So that'll take some research on my part to figure out. And if I can't find it second hand, then I need to find a product that to replace it with that is better for the environment. So those are the general rules for my no buy. Now to get into the nitty gritty details. Now for some of the exceptions. So I have a subscription box coming uh, of makeup and I signed up for this um, because of uh, Lady Luck tutorials. I love her. I love her channel. And she, she suggested that, you know, if you're looking for new skincare items and want to try some new things out, new skincare, new makeup, try signing up for a subscription box and she recommended one. Now I'm not going to go through my unboxings of those for the next few months. I prepaid for a few months. I'm just going to let that run out, go from there. So I will be adding things for the next few months. I have a couple of months left on it. Once that's done, once my prepaid part is done, then I will sure that they don't renew my subscription. So that's a unique caveat that I have going on. I did stop my subscription to the Grove and to um, Simply Earth. I didn't prepay for those subscriptions. 
So I stopped them for the next year. Um, I'm sad to be leaving Simply Earth for a year. I really like their oils. I like their products. I like their customer service and I like what they stand for. For the next year, I'm not supposed to be buying these things. If I run out of essential oils, I will use them from her. I will replace them from her. Um, but right now I have quite a few essential oils to get through. Once I'm out, then maybe I will replace them from her. But the subscription box itself has been stopped. What else am I stopping? So I wanted to figure out something to do because I am getting the subscription box for a few months. And so how could I really show commitment to this no buy year? For those that know me, know that I always have my nails done. I go to the nail salon once a month and I get a no-chip manicure and I get a pedicure. And I am going to stop with the no-chip manicure. Uh, typically, my nails are very long and we go through spurts right around this time of year. They end up breaking because I'm cleaning the house and uh, they're short right now. And I went last week and I didn't get a manicure. I had, uh, had the no-chip taken off and I have... Uh, clean empty nails now if you see on my middle nail that is a bruise I ran over my own finger with a roller seat uh, it hurt like something like if you've seen the Christmas story you know where it says that he weaved a tapestry of profanity that still hangs over the Lake Michigan today that was that was my experience with rolling over my own finger. So I have a bruise growing out. So if you see that, it's not dirt, it's a bruise. And then today I tried out the iconic um, brow thing that we got in a subscription box. And it's way too dark for me. I had put it on a Q-tip so that I didn't touch the, the pan itself. Uh, and then I ended up touching the Q-tip to get it on my finger to swatch it. And it's stained all under my nails, so this this is really great. What I will do with my own nails is I will try painting them myself. I haven't painted my own nails in about 10 years. I wonder if I can convince my niece to come paint my nails. She's really good at that. I am going to go with with uh, polishless fingers, which I haven't done in probably... 10, 15 years, something like that. I know I've been going to the same nail salon for the past 10 years. So this is something I'm giving up, is my no-chip manicure. Some other rules I have. If there is an emergency and I need to buy something, I will. So for health, if there's something that I need to buy, I will absolutely buy it. If I have a work meeting and I need something for the work meeting, I can't imagine what that would be. But if, there, if something comes up that I don't have and I need, I will go buy that. And I won't be so strict on trying to get it. It has to be an emergency need. It has to be something that I have nothing else that would do, and I will go buy it. When my subscription box comes, you may see me playing with some new product from time to time. But I'm not, I'm not going to do unboxings on this uh, channel. If you want some recommendations for people to check out for doing unboxings, please check out Just Anne. I love her. She's such a genuine soul. The same thing with She Crafty and uh, Yari G. I will link all their their web pages down below if I can figure out how to put them in the cards, which I think are, nope, nope. It would be on that side here. Or, yeah, I think it would show up here. Um, I'll have the their links in the cards. They're great people to watch do unboxings. I know lots of people in this no-buy year um, community are not fans of subscription boxes. I like it. I like having uh, unique items coming to my house that I would never pick. I've already gotten quite a few items that I would have never picked up at the store, and yet I absolutely love. So for me, with a very small makeup collection, a very small skincare collection, although much bigger now that I met Hannah Louise Poston. You'll learn more about her in my skincare video. Be sure to check her out. She's awesome. Now, if you're interested in videos on makeup reviews, you've got to check out Mia's Virtual Vanity. I will link her channel up here. And if the link doesn't pop up up there or on the other side, I'm not sure which side it pops on, but if it doesn't pop up at top here somewhere, uh, check out my description below. I've never actually linked something before, so this will be my first time linking something. Um, be sure to check out her channel. She is hysterical. She can roast like no other, and she's highly emotionally intelligent. The first thing that she has to talk about 
in her videos, well, she doesn't have to talk about, but that she does talk about, which is sad but cool at the same time, is that her roasts aren't roasting people. She's not attacking people that use these products. She's just attacking the products. She is very critical of the products and holds them to a high standard and has the most delicious, spicy, saucy, sassy way of uh, telling it like it is. So you should check out her channel. So here is what I have to start my no buy year with makeup. It's over here. I don't have a, a ton. This is what I'm starting out with, but I don't do a heavy makeup look every day. My look is already editorial with my hair that I don't need a ton of makeup. So let's, so let's start out with concealer. I have these two Dermacol concealers. They're a bit thick for my taste. I use them just for um, spot fixing. I have a sample of shape tape here um, in light medium. It's okay. I don't think it performs any better than these guys. Everything seems to stick to my to my fine lines and mature skin. Um, what I do have for my dark circles that I absolutely love is the, is the NYX under eye circle. This one is the DC03. Um, it's got quite an orange tint to it and it really works to help conceal my dark circles. So every day I use this, sometimes I use these. Um, for foundations, I alternate between these products. So I have um, two BB creams. I like this one better than I like this one. And this is almost, almost empty. Um, this one kind of doesn't give me enough coverage. So if I'm using this one, then I'll use a foundation. I have two foundations because I wasn't sure which one was my color. I'm that person, so I bought two. I am using them both. These will last me forever. I think I definitely am not a yellow base. Um, I am a warm base and the 440 looks much more yellow on me than the 450. So the 450 works well. I'm not sure if in the summer when I have a bit of a tan if these will work. But I have enough bronzer to fix anything. So moving on to brows. So I just have two products for brows and I just got this product. Um, from the subscription box. It is too dark for me. It's a medium. I use this Bobbi Brown Blonde that I absolutely love. It matches me perfectly, but as you can see, I am running out of this. And I was excited to receive this in the, the subscription box, but it's not my color, so I'm going to have to find a, a new home for it. That little fellow there, that's Hobbs. He's one of the reasons why I can't have nice things. He is definitely a little tiger and very interested in what I'm doing. So we'll see how much of this he checks, he uses to check if gravity is still working. So I won't be able to, to use this. I'm going to find a friend who's got much darker eyebrows. My eyebrows appear dark, but actually this color by Bobbi Brown is the perfect, perfect shade. For, uh, I have a little bit left of an under eye concealer from Jane Iredale brand. I used up the, <laughs> the color that matched me well. I'm left with this bronze, uh, this very dark color. I'm using this to set my lids um, if I'm going to do a smoky eye. So I, it'll probably take me five years to pan that. But I am using this to set my eyes. Let's move on to highlighters. So I just have two. I have this uh, Dior palette, which I absolutely love. This is the Backstage Glow palette, and all of these colors work for me. I use them all. So um, every day I'll put a little, a little highlight just on my cheekbones, and then if I'm going out to like a rock show or something, I will put on hella highlight. I will be glowing like nobody has glown before. This one I got from the subscription box, and the colors are good for me. I like that they're not so glowy. Um, these are better for a day look, so if I'm in the office, I'm not pretending to be a rock star. In the office, I look more professional as a legal professional, and I'm happy to have received this. Blushes. So, I have quite a few blushes. This is the biggest 
one of the bigger categories of things that I have. I use all four of these blushes on top of each other. Uh, the Stila one, I have a problem with Stila products. Do any of you have a problem with Stila products? I love this. It's peony. I absolutely love this. It puts just the nicest little shimmer on my cheek, but I find that it makes my eyes water. Does anyone else have that issue with Stila products? Even their eyeliner. I have an eyeliner by them, and it makes my eyes water like for two hours after doing my makeup. I have two blushes from Jane Iredale. One I have hit pan on pretty well. And the reason why I have multiple blushes is because my cheeks can take quite a bit of color, and so uh, I layer these on in the, they're not filming as bright as they are. These are really quite pink, and I like a pink cheek. I like a windblown cheek. That's the heaviest makeup that I do on my face because of my red hair. It used to be different when I was blonde. As you'll see from my lipstick collection, I had, uh, I could go heavier on the makeup, but with this red hair, I don't. Uh, for lashes. So I had a five pack of natural lashes. As you can see, I've gone through them. I have one set left. I have the set that I used a couple of nights ago and I'll, I'll reuse my lashes quite a bit. I have a lash applicator, which is hard to see. Some lash glue. This stuff, I love this lash glue. It works perfectly. It keeps them on. It's easy to clean off if you get a big dollop when you're applying it to your lashes. And then in my subscription box, I just received these Mink Lily eyelashes. I can't wait to try these out. I need like, I have law school prom coming up. Maybe I'll wear these to law school prom. I can't wait to rock those. And thank you to Haley Evans for teaching me how to use eyelashes. So I had had these eyelashes for probably six or seven years and I haven't been able to wear them. I've tried and tried and tried. Every time I went to put on eyelashes, it was a big mess and I'd end up screwing up my makeup and getting glue everywhere but the lash line. They would stick everywhere but the lash line. And I watched Haley Evans' video on how to put on false lashes. I will find a way to link that in the cards. I haven't figured that out yet. If it's not in the cards, is it that side or that side? If it's not in the cards, the link will be below. Check out our video if you want to figure out how to put on lashes. I... I found that video and bam, I have been wearing lashes every day since I love them. These these little neutral, natural lashes, I love them. They make me feel just a little bit extra than I already am. So mascaras, I have four left. I have this fake lash mascara that's, uh, is it this one or is it this one? No, I think it's the blink one. This one's okay. It, um, it runs a little bit it i'll find it caking in the corner of my eye so i'm i don't always use this if i use this i will put this some another lash another mascara over it this one i hated the wand and so i replaced it with a wand that i love covergirl stopped making their exact eye lights mascara which was my favorite and i've had a hard time replacing it since I got the Better Than Sex one in the subscription box. I like the mascara. Again, I don't like the wand. I like a very thin, small wand. This wand is huge, and I have a hard time getting it to just touch my lashes instead of everything else around my face. This mascara by Blink has the little... This puts the tubes. This one creates a tube on your lash, and it's a bit of a pain to use. It works okay, but you need time to be able to use this. So this is going to be around forever. I'm going to take forever to get through this. So I have plenty of mascara to get me through. Oh, I went through the concealers already. I went through the concealers already, but I have this Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. This makes me break out. I don't use this that often. If I have like heavy primer on, maybe I will use this. I may end up actually just decluttering this and finding a friend to give it to. Okay, so eyeliners. I always use eyeliner um, every day. I use eyeliner every day. I have a couple of different colors. I found this Burnt Burgundy by CoverGirl on sale at my local grocery store for a dollar 
and I bought it and I loved it and I have just about killed it. There's very little left, so I bought a second because I love it. It doesn't smudge, it stays put, and it works as an everyday look with my green eyes and red hair. As I'm aging, I'm finding black is a bit harsh for me. This deep burgundy works great. I have a couple of black ones. I have a Sephora one, a Stila one, and this the Stila one makes my eyes water. I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't know why. Maybe I can find something else to do it. Um, the steel one makes my eyes water, but I still end up using it. Why? I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm a glutton for punishment. I have a Sephora one. This one also bleeds a little bit. If my eyes get at all wet or even just throughout the day, it bleeds down into the outer corners of my eyes and I constantly have to clean them up. But if it's just a quick night out, a quick dinner out, it says it's waterproof, but it's really not. And then I have... Starlux. And I like this. I got this in a subscription box. This works okay. It doesn't bleed terribly, but it will towards the end of the day. I notice I'm wiping the corner of my eyes, which isn't great. I have a white one to make your, you know, make the eyes look a little bit bigger. I still haven't figured out how to master this. I look like a badly drawn anime character when I use this, so I still haven't figured out how to use it, but I'm going to keep it anyway. And then I have the Pretty Vulgar Ink Pot, and I am still figuring out how to use this. I love this packaging. This is so sexy. I have the proper brush for it, as you can see in my brush collection in the back. I have plenty of brushes. I don't need a new brush, but I have the proper brush for it, an angled thin brush, and the ink pot, and it's, it's beautifully deep and dark, and it's easy to take out of there. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to end up doing to try to use this is to use maybe my palm or something as like an artist palette and thin it out a little bit. It picks up quite a bit of product, uh, which is great if you know what you're doing, but if you're me and don't really know what you're doing, it's not so great. So I will take this and thin it out on my thin it out on my palm here, not my palm, my hand, and then pick up the product from here and apply it to my eyes. But I'm super excited to start using this, but I have to get through these other ones first. Hopefully some of these will die soon. So let's go on to lip pencils. I just have one by Morphe. I got this as a free gift for going to a women in law conference. It's the Zanga color. This one completely competes with my hair. It is exactly the color of my hair, so I don't use it. I think I'm going to declutter this and give it to a friend. So. I think I'm going to declutter this and give this to a friend. It really does compete with my hair. So if we're moving on to lips, then let's move on to lips. Whoops. Lip colors. So I was Cinderella for a very long time with my blonde locks, and now I am Ariel, and I am Ariel with Cinderella's lip collection. I got this Morphe and this Morphe. So this one is the Let Let Lantana, which I love. My lips are very blue, and actually, while this appears very orange in the packaging on my lips, it is just a sheer pop of color. It works great. And then I have this uh, Snapdragon by Morphe as well. It's a very dark red. It looks like it's very dark, but it's actually not that dark once I pop it on my lips. And so I can put these lip stains on, and it doesn't compete with my hair. They look they look nice. I had Reds Galore. Um, well, maybe not Galore. Which one is this one? Yep. So I have a Chili Red. I just got this in a subscription box. This is the Ofra Havana Nights. And I have this uh, Urban Decay Rock Study Red now. This one competes with my hair. This one competes with my hair. I think I'm going to gift this to a friend. And this Rock Steady one, I can put this on light enough that it just looks like a simple little blush of color. So I think I'm going to keep that. I think I am going to keep this one. I like the Rock Steady one. This one I think I'm going to gift to a friend. And then I just got this in the subscription box too, but I find this really, really, really drying. So I would have never picked a color like this for myself, but I love the color. This formula, though, sucks all the moisture out of my lips. It turns them into the desert within about 30 minutes of applying, but I love the color, so I want to see if I can figure out a way to still use this on top of a lip balm or something. And then I have um, Elf's Glitter. 
it's like a glitter lip balm and this works really nicely over any of the reds to kind of soften them so that they don't compete with my hair so I think this is oh I have one more I just got this in the subscription box this is Scarlet by Becca and it's it's a tomatoey red sticker I really haven't swatched it because I think I'm going to end up giving it away to a friend. I have enough reds to last me a while. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may hold on to this for a little while and see. I don't want to swatch it because if I give it away or maybe try selling it, something like that. But I don't know what the shelf life is on this. You know, these first world decisions are a killer, aren't they? So so that is my lipstick collection. I don't, I don't have a ton. Hence the subscription boxes. Now my skin lo looks for any excuse to break out. Any excuse at all. And so I started with the subscription box to try to s try new things. Because they're quite, val you know, the value is good. And I've gotten some really amazing products that I love. And I've gotten a couple of products that I don't love or that don't work for me. But overall, I'm still ahead of the game with money. And so far, nothing is killing my skin so I think my new skincare routine uh, is working which I'll get into soon so these are my my powders I have all kinds of powders here I have two cover girls this one is my favorite the ready set gorgeous this looks great on every day the pretty vulgar uh, translucent powder I love their packaging it's not earth friendly and I'm going to have to find a better replacement or see if I can pick this up secondhand when I run out of it but I've got a long time to go but I love their packaging I love everything about the the insignia on this the design of it this speaks to me and then I have two Jane Iredell compacts that have um, They're just a nice translucent powder for setting makeup. <clears throat> and they're two different colors because my skin changes throughout the year. And so this one is lighter than the other one. And uh, this is my collection of powders. Uh, what else have we got left here? We have eyes. Okay, so <laughs> this is my eye makeup. Uh, I use blushes and contour and stuff bronzers I use a lot of blush and bronzer for eyeshadow because I like to have a very natural look on my eye because of my red hair I have this very ancient covergirl uh, palette in purples I will use this if I'm creating a smoky eye I don't even know if it has a date on it it still works it still blends out it still it still does what I need it to do and I've had this probably I don't know 10 years maybe more yes but it still does what I need it to do so I have this I got this in my subscription box last month and I absolutely love it I would never have tried a copper foil crayon uh, nude stick at all I would never have tried this color never have tried this format and I absolutely love it I'm so grateful that I got it so the subscription boxes are mostly working out for me this works really really well with my red hair it looks very natural kind of it's like as natural as a sparkly color can get and then today I just received in my subscription box the Morphe Let's Brunch palette I love it this just came today so this is the first one and only big palette that I own this is it this this one that came in my subscription box so typically again I use blushes and bronzers which I'll get to next but I'm excited to have this these are colors are right up my alley and we'll see what kind of looks I can make out of this and then I have a setting spray kind of I have this Jane Iredale hydration spray I use this as a setting spray I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be used for but I use it as a setting spray I love the smell of this it works great and this has is lasting me forever and then on to <clears throat> so this is a, a Haley made me buy it YouTube made me buy it um, Haley Evans talks about the Anastasia 
Fawn stick foundation and she uses this for contouring and uh, I bought one and I absolutely love it. This stuff blends like a dream. It's the right color for my skin even though she's fairer than me. This gives me a great shadow along my jawline. I love it, love, love, love it. Thank you Haley for making me buy this. I have the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer in bronzed B. I got this in my subscription box and I absolutely love this too. So this is a much warmer color than the fawn. The fawn is a cool color and I learned from my niece who's who's about 13 years old, 12 years old. I learned from her that I was contouring all wrong because I was using a warm brown for contouring when I should have been using a cool brown for contouring and warm browns are just for bronzing. Hence this too, hence the Anastasia one. And I love this. This uh, Pretty Vulgar works well for me everywhere. It goes a long way. A tiny, tiny, tiny little bit goes a super long way and I'm happy with this product. And then I got today in my subscription box the Cover Effects palette. And uh, there's been a bit of drama about this palette. I got the medium one and I should have gotten the the light to medium one, not the medium to dark one, but this is the medium to dark one. And I was looking at the colors and actually, you know, they're not they're not bad for me. This contour color is very warm, so my niece would be poo-pooing this as a contouring color. Uh, this is the only one that I think that is too dark maybe for me. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but otherwise, the blush works very well for me. Um, I don't know if you can see those swatches. And uh, the highlighter, I love this this highlighter color. Um, you can see it on there. Maybe not. I like it in person. So I'm actually fine with having received the um, the medium to dark one. It works for me, especially with summer coming up. Um, I look forward to to playing with this. And then I don't think it's worth going through all my brushes, but I have a brush for every job. I've got all kinds of brushes, all kinds of uh, brand brushes. I've got Sephora brand. I've got Bobbi Brown. Um, I don't even know what these are. All kinds of brushes. They do the job. They get the job done. I've got an old uh, beauty blender that needs to be cleaned. This is my sad eyebrow and eyelash brush. The handle broke off. This is the third one that I've purchased where the handle broke off and instead of just buying new and I've tried to replace the handles and the super glue doesn't stay so I'm just using that. That sad nub on my eyebrows that gets the job done. So this is what I have for uh, makeup. This is my makeup collection. It's pretty curated. There's not much here. That's why I have the subscription boxes coming, but I won't be adding to it beyond the subscription boxes. As you go through the week this week living the dream, I hope that you be the change that you want to see and rock on. Mm -hmm.